that 75 million Americans have high blood pressure, there are certain foods you can actually eat to help you manage it. Today, nutritionist Joy Bauer is here with her top five. Joy, good morning. Good, good morning, to see you. Matt. Before we get to the food, what exactly defines high blood pressure? So imagine this. Our blood carries oxygen and nutrients throughout our body using a network of these tiny little vessels. They're like small tubes. Now, as the blood travels, it exerts pressure on the vessel walls. That's known as blood pressure. If the pressure gets intense, it's high blood pressure. So I'm going to show you a quick illustration. This top one is a normal, healthy blood vessel. See, smooth sailing. Traffic moving well on the Absolutely. highway. Absolutely. This vessel demonstrates high blood pressure, and you can see it's clearly distressed. There's plaque within the walls, so it's a narrowed space, and also the walls are having a hard time. They're stiff, they're hardened, and they're, they're contracting, but they're exerting a lot of energy. And the other thing is if this guy who owns, or gal, who owns this vessel takes in a lot of salt, salt draws in water, increases is the volume which will then increase the blood pressure even further. Uh, diet, exercise, all good things. Talk about some of the foods that actually help you manage your blood pressure. The first one people are going to like the sound anyway. of cocoa powder. So everybody seems to know the virtues of dark chocolate, but the real hero is the cocoa powder that's within the dark chocolate because that's where all the flavanols are housed and that's what helps to keep our blood vessels healthy and elastic. So what I'm telling people is to pick up some cocoa powder. You could put it in smoothies, you could put it in oatmeal. You could also put a little bit in your morning coffee Makes and it's really sense. delicious, healthy for your blood vessels. I'm one of these weird kids. I love spinach from the very young age. You that's say great. this is another key Food. It's a triple threat. It has potassium, magnesium, and folate. And what potassium does, it's sort of the anti-sodium. I just said that sodium draws in water. Right. Potassium flushes it out and flushes the sodium out. So instead of lettuce on a sandwich, put spinach leaves. Also, you have a simmering pot of soup on the stove or marinara sauce. Dump those spinach leaves in, stir it around, and it's extra yummy. It's a great idea. Garlic is another one. Does it have to be raw garlic? No. It could be powder, it could be minced garlic, roasted garlic. Garlic has two active ingredients. One is called allicin, which keeps those the lining of the cells healthy. The other is, believe it or not, there's an active ingredient that acts like an ACE inhibitor, a prescription medication, but there's no side effects. Matt, roasting garlic is one of the most delicious things ever, and it's super easy. If I've heard Hoda say it once, I've heard her say it a thousand times, beans, beans, good for your heart, exactly. and she goes on. <laughs> That too. So all beans are great for your heart because they have protein and they have fiber and they have potassium and magnesium. But I am featuring white beans as the superhero here because they have the added benefit of calcium and calcium helps our blood vessels to contract and dilate. What I do here, this is a little trick, I make a soup and instead of using cream to thicken it up, I put in a can of white beans, I puree it and it's delicious. You can also make a great yes. gift for veggies and finally pumpkin, why? So pumpkin is loaded with potassium, remember P for pumpkin, P for potassium, flushes out that sodium and fluid and you can take canned pumpkin puree. It's available year-round and you can make a nice pumpkin pudding or mat. What I've done here is it's a great replacement for oil in baked goods and it's a one-to-one -one ratio and this recipe is on the website Little Brownie Bites with pumpkin and cocoa. Five great ingredients <laughs> to help you manage your blood pressure. Joy, as always, thank you very much. For these recipes and more, check out our website today.com. Hello Today fans, thanks for checking out our YouTube channel. Subscribe by clicking that button down there and click on any of the videos videos over here to watch the latest interviews, show highlights, and digital exclusives.